Hi, I'm the Adobe Guy again, and I'm going to be talking about dynamic blocks again this time. Um, I'm going to look at a different attribute this time, is how to flip the block. So back to AutoCAD, and I'm going to input the block that we looked at before, so desk. And I've made a few changes this time, so I've actually put a, an asymmetrical feature on it. Uh, you'll notice it's still got its lookup menu for changing the sizes, so that's still got that attribute on it. But I'm going to put another attribute on it, which will flip it, so changing it from a, a right hand to a left hand desk. Okay, to do that, I'm going to go into Edit, and I'm going to edit the desk, and here it is in the editor. I'm going to apply a parameter, and it's going to be a flip parameter. And the first thing it's asking me is the reflection line. The reflection line is going to be along here. And where do I want to put the label? Well, I'll just chuck the label down there. That's good enough for me. I then need to apply an action to it. And the action is, of course, a flip action to that parameter. Select all the objects. I'll drag a box around the whole thing because I want the whole thing to flip over. And that's it. Now let's have a look and see what that looks like on the drawing. So when I click to select, I can still choose from my drop down the actual size of it. But additionally, now I can click there just to flip the desk upside down to change from a left to a right hand. And in this new position, I can still use the original, uh, the original control just to set the size. OK, so that's how to apply a flip action, flip attribute, to a dynamic block in AutoCAD. I'm the Adobe Guy. Thanks again for listening.